346, patrol car was just hit by a train. The chief of the Platteville Police Department tells us one of his officers is on paid administrative leave after leaving his patrol car parked on train tracks and putting a suspect in the back seat. A train hit the car, seriously injuring the woman in custody in the back seat. Police haven't updated us on her condition or who she might be. Fort Lupton police say she was wanted for an incident of road rage miles away from where this crash happened. Nine News reporter Steve Steger has been listening to police radio traffic leading up to that crash and asked an expert on police practices to weigh in. Copy on a disturbance with Lepton's Highway 85 northbound and 14th Street northbound. The call began miles away in a different town. Female was tailgating RP and then pulled a gun on him in a silver Toyota Tundra. Fort Lupton PD searched for that suspect. A Platteville officer found her. I got that vehicle in front of me all the According to the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, the Platteville officer pulled the driver over near Highway 85 and County Road 38. She stopped just past the train tracks. The Platteville officer stopped behind her, parked on the tracks. Looks like they have one at gunpoint. When two Fort Lupton officers got there, they helped the Platteville cop arrest her. They put her in the back of the Platteville car, then went to search her car. Again, she was in the back of a squad car parked on train tracks. Dispatch left the 346 patrol car was just hit by a train. Dispatch left the 346 medical emergency suspect was in the vehicle that was hit by the train. Copy. I can't fathom why he would leave his vehicle on the tracks with the subject inside. Ed Obiashi is a sheriff's deputy in California I, I, and a police practices system. expert. Those who are in your custody uh, you've detained them or you're in the back of your patrol car, uh, you have a duty of care towards that subject. A duty of care. It's advised we cannot get the doors open on the unit and the female passenger is inside my unit. Obiashi says he doesn't understand why the officer wouldn't have encouraged the suspect to pull up so he didn't have to stop on the tracks or move the car once the suspect was inside. Since you have assumed control, physical control over them, their movements, uh, you are by definition responsible uh, to protect them in any situation. Obiashi says he quite literally has never seen anything like this before. He says there will likely be a civil case against these officers for making this decision to put a suspect in a car that was on train tracks. The question will be, Will there be any criminal charges? CBI is investigating this case because it involves serious injury of someone while they are in police custody, Kim. Really, you have to hear this discussion sometimes to really understand how this all went down because at first it, it was like this didn't happen. Yeah, when we initially heard this call, we thought, oh, maybe it was just someone who had parked their car on the train tracks, not someone who had been arrested and placed inside a patrol car that was on those tracks. Now, we still don't know a lot about what was going on in those moments. We don't know maybe why that car was still parked there, but mm -hmm. the thought is, why didn't you just move the car? Get right. it off the tracks while you go about your business of the call. Okay, well, hopefully we'll learn more in the coming days. Thank you, Steve.